Uh, the economy slide in recession was quick, it was sharp, uh, but as activity starts to pick up, investors are asking how the post-shutdown recovery might compare to the upswing after the financial crisis. Steve Leisman joins us now uh, with more. Good morning, Steve. Hey, good morning, Joe. Yeah, the uh, great financial crisis and this COVID-19 shutdown are so different, they barely belong or even fit on the same charts. But what I tried to do here is compare the two and see what lessons we might have learned uh, and, and help investors figure out, well, what does it mean, both the, how, how we fell and how we're coming back and how the government responded for the recovery. First, take a look at this unemployment chart, and you can see the troubles it takes to fit it on the same chart. You see the orange line? That's the surge in unemployment from this COVID-19 shutdown. Uh, and what your x-axis has there are the months since the beginning of the recession, surged up to 14, 15 percent in the second month. And that might have been the peak. We don't know yet. But if it was, it was a much faster peak than you can see the blue line. That's the great financial crisis. It took us 22 months until unemployment peaked. And I will also tell you, it took seven years before we got back to that 5% where we started. And part of that may be, well, take a look at how the Treasury, uh, the Federal Reserve responded. The Fed uh, came in very quickly with lots and lots of money. This is months since the recession. The zero month is the start of the recession. $3 trillion extra already by the fourth month. By then, in the great financial crisis, only $1.3 trillion from the Federal Reserve. Now, on a percentage basis, it was a pretty sharp response. Also, remember back in the great financial crisis, that had never been done before. Now you can see how the Fed, confidently for what it's worth, using its balance sheet as a tool, just a traditional tool at this point. Finally, you can see the Treasury uh, coming in very strongly compared to the last crisis. By the second month, year-over-year <clears throat> -year Treasury outlays up 30 percent two months in a row. It took until the 10th month of the recession until they got that big stimulus out there, up 36 percent over time. Okay, so, and obviously, the market responded pretty strongly uh, and, and had much better results when it came to stocks. 53 <clears> percent <throat> decline. Uh, for the great financial crisis, only 37 percent. And if that March low was the low, well, it hit that low much faster than it did the last time around, 17 months till we hit that low. All right, what are the lessons here? Well, it sure helps to know what you're dealing with and how quickly you're dealing with it. Remember, there was lots of talk back in 08, 09 that, hey, what was this as bad as we thought? It took time for that to sink in. You, had, you have bipartisan support for aid right now. And I think the lesson is act early, act often, act in force, and act without doubt. That said, Joe, the, the balance sheet and interest rates never got back to normal. And the question now is, did this sharper deterioration followed by a much more forceful response, is it leading right now to a faster recovery? Markets sure think so. Becky?